category. Get in there. Can I get anybody seltzer, soda, um, uh, diet soda? Ice water works for me. I, I, I gotta ask for a seltzer. Fine, actually, that work. I think a seltzer? That'd be great. Okay. It's it's pain. Pain. Seltzer, seltzer, right, ice water. I'm fine. Is it alright if I sneak oh, out the car? Uh, of course, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah, I left the front door unlocked and, and okay. there's also smoking on the back deck. And there's some, even an ashtray out there. Oh, so okay. if you're gonna smoke, you can go out in the back deck. Actually, that's so right. Okay. Yeah, and I'll bring up a soldier on my fire. I Thank you. Do you need that. help at all, Ethan? Nope. What a great guy Ethan is. I mean, look at this. He's taking his whole afternoon hosting us here. You gotta look. <laughs> I just oh, I had to reload it again. Yeah, it's fine. Ben Arthur. What's so, what Bruno, I guess just introduction. But oh, I'm Joel. Oh man. <laughs> I'm Ed. And I'm Tom. John Goof. Uh, me. I'm gonna record a quick song. Two acoustics, two vocals, and if there's someone who wants to play something else, I'm fine with it. Um, oh, there was well, talk about one mic. Uh, yeah, just one mic. Uh, we could do vocal guitar at the same time, which would save ourselves for eight minutes, but uh, I think, although I well, couldn't quite catch it, whether Ethan was concerned about some ground loop issue right. with having two mics at the same time. So two completely separate separate setups, I guess. Two completely separate setups, two completely separate clocks, everything. Yeah. Yep. And yours, theoretically, should have that thing, whatever it is that people hear. And, and if I hear it, that, that will be very interesting. I, so far on all these tests, I haven't heard it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Beautiful. Uh, I think John has a mic he was suggesting that we should use. What, what was it called again? It's the new mic, the Jolly mic. Michael Jolly Mike, is that okay for your purposes? Works for me. If everybody <laughs> says yes, nobody will refute this as a good mic, then... Oh, sure, someone will. Well, oh, you <laughs> use the mic all no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't count. But don't we want to split the signal after the preamp, go into the lavery, and whatever system you want on your side... At the same time. At the same time, so that, yeah, so that we're getting a, a, right. a yeah, simultaneous capture. Right. That would be the best. We can try to do that. Are there two outputs here? I um, think we we need the outputs from the Grace preamps. So exactly. Do you have a direct there's, output? There's just one. One app, but but that's but that's and that's split. XLR, right? Well, you know, I, have a I can go for group. Ta-da! What do you have there? The Personas FP10. It has eight analog outs on the back. But somebody's going to object. Somebody's going to say Presonus is not high end. I guarantee you that somebody's going to say that. <laughs> I don't think that. But somebody is going to say that. Oh, you can't put that in the signal path. Right. That that will color. If there is such a thing as coloring, right. uh, well, if I remember correctly, if you're going into the mic input and then coming out of the analog out, that shouldn't even be going through converters. No, it's not. No, that's not right. But it's going to go through cheap electronics. I guarantee you, somebody's yeah. going to say that. There, there is that. I have a mic cord that I'm willing to sacrifice, and uh, a quarter-inch balance plug that can go into my delta. Right, the only thing is that means it's uh, going to go uh, I, I was all the way over to their pack, which is not a big here. deal. Not a splitting out of yeah. the preamp. So, all right, well, let me. Uh, yeah, I'll get downstairs and I'll solder this. I'll be back in like five minutes. To, yeah, but once it's collaborating, good man. Once it's then, added, he's going to quarter inch to go to his system over there. And that's going to be an XLR to go where to the library. To the library. requires XLR. So it'll be my preamp out to the splitter to two different sets of converters. Okay, that worked perfect. And actually two different recording systems, I guess. Yeah, it's even better. All right, well, it's, it's not no spec, but it's, uh, it's it works. Look at that. Yeah. Are you rocking? Well, done. well done. Cool. So, you know. Dude, awesome. that's awesome. rocking. Yeah. Well, all righty. Not that hard. If it wasn't two things, I could have actually tucked it into the connector and made it look nice. So, uh, yeah, come on. All right. But so it works. Plug it right. Mr. Plug this into the output of the preamp, then. Okay, so we're going to go from so from this all the way over to my adapter, and then we're going to come back so again. Yeah. But then the other question is: Does it matter if it's just one track recorded, or does it matter? If no, it's the, the stacking, the stacking, recorded. the stacking is part so of it. In fact, yeah. Kenny, Kenny, recorded. and I had this interchange where I can't he said, that too. I, and I, "I don't have any well, proof." Proof. That's what I he agree. believes too. And, and I actually specifically said to Kenny, "Are you cool with four tracks? Is four tracks enough?" And he said, yes, then I'll be cool it's with closer. four tracks. It's closer. But well, if, yeah. if, if you can hear it, you know, if you can't hear it with one track, if you can't hear it after four with the crummy one, then, then that does for something. Well, I think it suggests.
It's anyway. suggest proof. <laughs> suggest proof um, of something. Yeah, and, and I, honestly, I don't know any of this stuff. I, you I don't will like say stacking theory is a myth. He says stacking theory is a myth, clocking theory is a myth, yeah. and conversion theory is all a myth as compared to treatment. Um, and, you know, those who are cynical looking at, at his argument, I think, say he's just trying to sell his shit. Myself, I tend to be more on the other side, which is he truly, deeply believes this, mm -hmm. and that's why he does this. Um, it doesn't make him any less of a partisan, I think, but it's, it's a partisan pre, pre, you know, the cynicism, uh, I hope. Um, but I don't know. I, I just don't know the answer to this shit. That's why I'm here. Well, I'm fascinated I, by it. From my experience in my little home studio, you I know it? that his bass traps made by far the biggest difference to nice. the sound. Yeah. The biggest well, improvement see. to any, any box I've ever bought from Right, you can't say sound treatment doesn't matter. That's an idiotic position. No, I don't think so. he, I don't think even the partisans on the other side agree that or would would argue that sound treatment doesn't matter. Oh, it's a question matter. of degree. Exactly. Yeah, but if you yeah. just think about and, it, and those people will say uh, obviously the conversion makes maybe not as much, but you know, way up there. It's, that it's a huge difference. And does the converter have an input level control? Because mine does not. So if the lavery does. You. That's the one that's going to have to get adjusted. We'll set the mic preamp for you know minus ten or something on mine, and then set uh, your converter. Your livery has a gain. It does, but we need the little eyeglass screwdrivers. It's in the front. Uh, I have that. Okay. Okay. Do one hit. Okay. I got eleven minus eleven point eight. Minus six. So can you make yours less sensitive? Right. Yeah. You look. No. You look fine. You don't want to be on camera. I can give a shit Oh, okay. I think we're good. You're rolling. Okay, and I'm rolling too.
and cut.